want to rule our country. Hello. Welcome to We Solve Faces of Africa. Voice of the Com. Let's solve. Jomo Kenyatta is the founding father of the Republic of Kenya. He was the first prime minister and first president of independent Kenya. Kenyatta was born as Kamau, son of Ngengi, a teacher where southwest of Mount Kenya. His father Moigoi was the chief of a small agriculture village in Gatundu division, Kiambo district. His father Moigoi died when Kamau was very young and Kenyatta was adopted by his uncle Ngengi to become Kamau Ngengi. I think I have spoken enough in this language. It is not my wish that I should be speaking to you in a foreign and for that matter in colonialistic language. About age 10, Kamau becomes seriously ill with giga infection in his feet and one leg and he he underwent successful surgery at the Church of Scotland Mission at Togoto. This was his initial contact with the Europeans. Fascinated with the what he had seen, Kamau ran away from home to become a resident pupil of the mission. He studied the Bible, English, mathematics and carpentry, and paid his fees by working as houseboy and cook for European settler. In August 1914, he was baptized with the name Johnson Kamau and afterwards left the mission and worked for Nairobi Town Council in the Water Department. After independence, the consolidation of independence, urgent economic reconstruction and development, the need to make an impact and have influence at Pan-African and international affairs must be our immediate aid. His political career started in early 20s when a new nationalism spirit was grown especially among the Kikuyus who were opposed to some aspect of the European influence and the grabbing of Africa land by the settlers. My leadership has not been to darkness and, 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 and death, but to light and prosperity. In 1952, Kenyatta and five other leaders were arrested and charged with being members of the outlawed and radical anti-colonial revolt, the Mau Mau movement. He was sentenced to seven years in prison with hard labor. He was released in 1961 and returned home to receive a hero's welcome. In 1963, Kenya became an autonomous state and Kenyatta became its first prime minister. And in 1964, he became the first president of Kenya. Arambe! Arambe! Nama shamba yetu Arambe! Nama fugo yetu Arambe! Kenyatta was a source of strength and inspirations to Kenyans. He was a symbol of unity. Kenyatta died peacefully in his trip on 22nd August of 1978 at Mombasa. He will be remembered for his leading role towards independence as well as uniting Kenyans. Oh, okay.